Joker never tries to kill Batman, he just wants to toy with this cosplayer to the point where Bruce goes insane and kills the Joker. But things went a little too far this time around because Joker managed to kill Batman. We get to see what the Joker does with its surprisingly boring life after Batman died in the Batman Legends of the Dark Knight comic series. So this manga starts with Joker and Batman once again rehearsing their dance sequence and having a conversation in the middle of their fight. But more specifically, Joker was just saying how these fights that they always have will last forever. But tonight, things went a little turbo insane now. Because during this fight, Joker set a timer for a bomb to blow up a town that was right behind Batman. So Joker escaped while Batman made a U-turn to this town, but what sucks is that he was too late because he got caught in this explosion of cringe and was not only left on the ground to rot, but he also died. And Joker was trying to get Bruce to get up, but he didn't. And the reason why is because he killed Batman. And when this goober found out, he was more happy than someone picking dry boogers out of their nose because this was a long time coming. But unfortunately, this happiness was short-lived because Joker was empty inside because without a Scotty Pippen, how is he supposed to do anything? He can't just waste his life being a criminal when there is no hero and no other hero in the DC world is even fun to play with, especially considering that everyone else in the DC world can just spank Joker to hell in two seconds except for Batman. But anyways, Joker decided that enough was enough, and he would give up being a supervillain, burn everything that he has, and kill the Joker persona like he did with Batman. But as this anime went on, his smile began to disappear, his hair would fade to normal, his skin would be less pale, and he had no criminal thoughts. And this was weird for him because this is a whole new life that he's starting, but he wants to do it right. So he decides to rename himself Joseph Kerr, or Joker, rent an apartment, get a proper job, and be an actual donkey in society for once. Eventually, he would have googly eyes for a young lady named Rebecca and decide to live with her and have a great life with her as well. However, Joker was consistently getting nightmares of a clown and a bat fighting, and this would wake Joe up every night like somebody was tickling his belly button because these dreams were so real like he was playing in VR. And on top of that, anytime he dreams anything that is Joker or Batman related, he will fall silent and just stare. But suddenly, he got furious and hysterical as if an evil Twitch streamer is just trying to break out of his soul and re-emerge. And eventually, Joe started to laugh at random things, started questioning his sanity, and also question everything around him. But eventually, he figured out that the orangutan in his dreams is him. He is the Joker, and being here in Gotham City is causing him to go mad again. So the couple did the logical thing and just moved out of Gotham, which is something that everybody in Gotham should do, but apparently the Joker is the only dandelion to do it. But anyways, when they moved out, those dreams also moved out, and Joe was beginning to feel sane again. But not even two seconds later, Joe picked up a newspaper and read a headline that Batman was back, and immediately, he started to lose it, and even told his girl that he was going for a walk, but in reality, he was going to Power Rangers more into the man that he always dreamed of being. And that man is the Joker, and he made it his life mission once again to toy with Batman for the rest of his stupid life. Now watch this video where Joker chopped up Alfred and put him in a box and then gave that box to Batman. And yeah, thank you for watching.